Uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, sorry for because I'm going to improvise completely this presentation. I don't have any slides, so I'm just putting the web pages. Uh, well, uh, I'm the co-founder of Data Salt. Uh, we are a consultancy company in the big data space. Uh, we mainly perform, uh, develop things uh, related with Hadoop. And uh, when, uh, when developing uh, applications to clients, uh, we have been using mainly Java for doing it, and we have found that the uh, API of Hadoop is not uh, quite good. So I would like to ask how many people from here is using Hadoop? Okay, and how many of that people hate the Hadoop API? Okay, somebody likes, so <laughs> that's curious. Okay, so what we have found, I mean, what we have been developing is that uh, the main design part patterns which you find when you have projects are not well covered by the uh, Hadoop uh, Java API. Uh, it's the opposite, it's, it's quite complex to doing the simple things. Doing complex things is very easy with Hadoop, but doing simpler things is quite complex. So something had to be changed. Um, thinking on the problems, we finally found that the problem is not only uh, Hadoop, it's also the paradigm. Uh, MapReduce is not uh, enough, it's not well done at all. Can be done better, can be, there is a way of, uh, there is another paradigm which, which is easier to understand, I think. And that's the way that we uh, think on Tap and Map Reduce. Um, tap and Map Reduce is uh, the same concept of Map Reduce, but the, the difference is that instead of having key value, you just have tuples. You have plain tuples where you have some fields in it. And uh, what you do instead of uh, grouping by the key is that you can select the group. You can select the group like in a SQL sentence. You say group by, uh, you have the tuple, and you say group by these three fields. But also you can do something which is interesting that is that also you can sort by. So you can say that you want to sort by some other fields. The unique uh, constraint is that the group by must be a prefix of the sort by. That's the unique thing that must to be uh, followed. And if you follow that, you can implement Tuple map reduce on top of map reduce. Uh, that that's our first uh, approach. But then think, thinking more on that, we find that also we can extend tuple map reduce and convert that to join tuple map reduce. So if we support different schemas for the tuples, then we can perform joins in the reduce easily. So, and uh, I don't know if you have done. Uh, joins in Hadoop, but it's quite complex. You have to uh, write a lot of boiler, boilerplate code. So at the end, uh, we, we, we have think of implementing top map reduce in Hadoop. So we created Pangul. Pangul is an implementation of uh, top map reduce on top of Hadoop. And the unique thing you need is a library. It is a library. You don't have to do nothing. Um, which are the advantages? The advantages is that the most common design patterns are covered. For example, secondary sorting. For example, joining. Um, for example, um, uh, you have a join, a join, a reduce site join that doesn't use memory for doing it. If you uh, perform it properly, you can uh, get the tuples from the schema you need first than the tuples of the second schema. Okay. Um, because we don't have too many time, I'm just going to explain some things. Uh, this is the page of Pangul. You can go here and uh, uh, there is a Maven artifact that you can include in your project. And we have a good documentation. Uh, here you have the documentation. And just, sorry, it's not that. Uh, and the most important part of Pangul to understand is tuples. And tuples is that is you just uh, the only thing you have to to define is an schema. Every single tuple uh, have an schema, and the schema have several fields. The fields have some types, like all the, that's not dif different to other langu languages. You have these these types, and when you are when you launch jobs. What you are doing is just configuring your jobs using Tuple Mapper Builder. And here you say, I have 
an, an schema that is URL map, I have another schema that is URL register, I want to group them by URL, uh, this is the input one, this is the input two, uh, each of one have a different mapper, uh, this is the reducer, and uh, the output, I want to, to store the output here uh, with that format, and finally, create job and execute. And this, this job allows you to do performing a join between, between two data sets, which is really complex with uh, other, uh, with, with the Hadoop um, plain Java API. More things we have. We support Abro, we support Thrift, we support multiple inputs and multiple outputs. That is also supported by plain Java Hadoop API, but this is a mess because depending on the version, you have multiple outputs on the new API um, Hadoop version, or sometimes are not there. So we also support, uh, in, we have integration with Solar. You can use Pangool for exporting your uh, Hadoop data to uh, create indexes that later you can use in Solar. Um, okay, so the conclusion, Pangool is nice, no? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to say. I know that you have to say if it's right or not. But uh, something I want to show you is the speed. Because the good thing of that is that Pangul, Pangul speed is uh, comparable to Hadoop speed. Uh, here we have Hadoop speed uh, when doing some particular tasks, and this is Pangul one. We have a very small uh, overhead over the Hadoop IPA. Uh, this is a comparison of other uh, APAs like grants and like cascading. So, in conclusion, we find that Hadoop API is, is hard. We try to fix it. We try to create an API which is more user-friendly and that covers more uh, user design patterns. Uh, we implemented it and we find that the speed is as good as the Hadoop ones. So our recommendation is that if you are new to the Hadoop world and you want to learn MapReduce or uh, low-level MapReduce, I recommend you to start by Pangul because it's going to be easier, the learning curve. And that's all. <laughs>